Okay, so I'm recording to the cloud and I'm all on my own. Okay, what is the access code? It doesn't say. Really? Oh, mamma mia. Okay, so. Okay, good. Captain is in. Send. Can you click the link in the message? So. Hi, Lily. Hi, Kefilver. Did you have any trouble logging in? Not at all. You just clicked the link and came in? Yes. And uh, Anais is saying she needs an access code. Yes. And I know recently there's been such problems with Zoom where for some people um, they can come in. I also had um, these kind of problems where I need an access code, but other people have just come in without any issues. I've had that in the past, but um, I was a bit irritated now because my link doesn't show any other information. It's just got that. Mm. I need to invite people. There's no other, unless I go into the international site. Well, we're still waiting for the others anyhow. I might log in and see if Zoom US says anything else. I mean, I was able to log in properly. And I think it also depends on, on your setup when you're coming into the Zoom meeting. Um, like if you are registered or logged on. Oh. You seeing something? Yeah, I was saying it also depends on the person the the, the yeah. person's account, the person who's trying to come in their account. So sign in. Come on, sign me in. Sign in. Da 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 da. Meetings. And our meeting is. Oh, I thought I had saved it as a as a meeting type. Come on. Meeting templates. Social media team. Open. Passcode required, need no authentication required to join. Yeah, there's a new thing where it actually asks you if you're coming in at the host, then it wants the access code. But if you're going to come in as a like participant, then it's right below that, but it's normally hidden. It didn't ask me that today, though. But sometimes um, it does, where so, something weird like that. Where is Anais? She's in um in Lebanon, right? Spain. She's in Spain. Luz, uh, Nancy's in Lebanon. Nancy's in Lebanon. Okay. And I wanted to ask you the part, the second part about the plans. Can you go through that with us? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of us will go through the uh the you know next step. Yeah. Yeah. So all videos off when you enter the meeting. Telephone and computer audio possible. Dial from United States. What can I do? Edit this meeting template. So where it says, okay, I click the passcode away and then save. It had a tick for passcode as if, I don't know. All right. Um, I don't know whether that has any effect on the meeting that we've already started. Uh, let me get back to Anais. Maybe you could do the waiting room as a safety measure or as a security measure. Maybe that they should be able to come in. I find it really odd, though, that this is happening, but it happens quite often. Um, I've also been one of those people who struggle to get into the meeting. 
Hello. Good evening, ladies. Sorry. Hi, nice to see How you. you. I didn't know you had another meeting at, at tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, like once a month, but that's why. Mm. Um, it's good yeah. to communicate that and I really want to appreciate everybody's investment and understand that we've all got our things yeah 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 <laughs> let's just appreciate what we can do and focus on the positive and just work with what we've got yeah oh there's Nancy yay so Kenyan the way you are last week Thursday when we had our Southern Africa webinar um most of the ladies were like that because the they had power cuts oh. and we were all laughing about it that they are tending by candlelight so oh. when we look at you <laughs> so when i look like the candlelight i immediately oh. think okay we have another one um joining us oh but my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness yes yeah, sorry i actually wanted to be home already but this in this this way i'm uh, i'm um i'm just five minutes from home so i can be without the candlelight soon and actually thank you for forwarding that but i i just i think i had already a meeting but uh i wanted to make it but i, I couldn't so i don't know if they do recordings but uh, i was interested so thanks oh yeah i did record it um there was so much drama. Africa is having problems with the electricity these days. It, it's crazy. I've never seen anything like that. So we had probably maybe about 40 participants, but at any given point in time, we were no more than 17 because people were coming in and out. But fortunately, all our speakers made it. It was really, really nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you can send me the recording, I will I will look at it. Does it also have to do with your own project or is it something different? No, just for for Southern Africa. It was organized by the young people there. Ah, she's in the waiting room. That's Anais. Yeah, but Nancy's just in the waiting room. I've just let her oh. in. Oh. So yeah, we're all complete. Is, what happened? It looks like she got kicked out. Hello, it's Hello, nice. Carolina. Hi, yeah, Carolina. <laughs> Hi. Hey. How are you? Okay. Well, you're muted. <laughs> I think I'm muted. <laughs> okay. No, that's fine. Hi, everybody. Since we're all in, finally, after a couple of months and a couple of struggles today, I would like to welcome you to this evening's meeting and I hope it's fruitful and, you know, we get the desired outcome. We have three things on our agenda. So meet and greet, that's the first one. And then this, uh, that's, that will be all of us. And then uh, plans that will be done by Lily. And then the next step, that will be all of us. And it would be based on what we've been discussing all along, where each one sort of tells us which area they can fit in and how. So with a meet and greet, I think, ha have we all met? It's our, it's our first time together, but everybody met, has met me. Um, I'm Kefila from, from South Africa. Um, and I'm part of Women Federation Germany and Europe and the Young Professionals International. And I will pass it on to the next person, Lily. Uh, hi, I'm Lily, and I've had a lot of experience in social media. So I guess that's why Carolyn Hanshin named me social media manager for a PR manager for Women's Federation Europe in the Middle East earlier this year, I think around January or February. And that's been a challenge to fulfill the role because I got the title because I set up the homepage and the WhatsApp group and the YouTube channel and did a lot of work in the past. And I think it just it's time to upgrade and to modernize and get into the future and the present. So that's uh, my name's Lily. I'm born in Australia. I live in Austria. 
I've worked at the UN for 10 years. I have been the Women's Federation representative at the UN before and after. And I'm retired now from the UN. I have five sons. My middle son, Andy, is blessed with an Italian sister and together they do a lot of work for the Blessed Family Department. So, um, What's their name, Lily? Uh, what's what's uh, their uh, Andrea Scunda Okay, Cirelli, he, Francesca. Yeah, yeah. He took on oh, her name when they got son. married, okay. legally married. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that's me. Any questions? I'm happy to answer. But I'd really like to keep this meeting short, that we finish before eight o'clock, and try with that impulse that we can meet more often because I know there's a lot we can share and I'd just like to make a connection that we can make a start to have a working foundation so that we can see what's possible and how can we use this as a springing board to 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 launch something great okay thanks Lily and next Carolina Hello, I'm Carolina, and I think some of you just know me as Anais because that's the way Marcia calls me, Anais. And here in my charge, like everybody calls me Anais, but I prefer Carolina. So thank you to feel it. You remember. <laughs> and well, I'm 24 years old. I studied biology, and now I'm helping Marcia with the whole thing of Women Federation in Spain. I'm just new in all this kind of stuff. I've been in New York um, last summer, this summer with Filwe and Nancy was there too. And um, I like social media. I am working now with a um, like kind of federation of students from different types of science. And I'm the one who just coordinates the social media thing. And yeah, that's me. Great. Okay, and Shoyin. That sounds great, Carolina. Carolina. Uh, yeah, hi everyone. My name is Kyungin, but people call me Q. I'm from Holland and uh, I'm working as a legal guardian for refugee kids uh, in my daily job. And I also uh, have been involved with the Women's Federation, more on a European basis. And now also I joined the UN team in Vienna. So uh, yeah, that's why I know Lily better. And also actually know Kofi, we're also from the Women's Federation. Or oh, actually it didn't start there, but now it's more uh, a common ground. And uh, I've also met Nancy in Geneva at the UN. So that was very nice. It was very busy, so we didn't have so much time to really chat or something but uh yeah it was really nice to meet you Nancy so uh I I yeah <laughs> so I'm very happy for example yeah I do not have super much social media experience but it's more like um uh, yeah I feel that I could contribute something or learn more because I don't I don't really use Instagram or I don't really uh, use uh, uh how to say Twitter but I think it would be easy and yeah, I can see that the rest of the people involved are also not really, maybe they know less than me. Maybe you know more, but they know less. So I just want to help to contribute to make something better than there is now, especially for me. What's important is like the PR, like beforehand to involve more people and offhand, something like this. So that's me. Yeah. Thank you. And last but not least, Nancy. Yeah, hi everyone. So nice to finally meet. Um, I'm Nancy, I'm 25 years old. Uh, I graduated as a human resources management. Uh, I've studied that. Um, I didn't work a lot with, the, with this major, but I have tried to work for women's rights. Um, I've worked with, uh, I didn't work, but <laughs> uh, I've been with the WFWP. Uh, with Mrs. Zoe Bennett, with and I have attended the uh, social forum in uh, the UN in Geneva. 
Yes, and in New York with uh, Gafili and uh, Carolina. And yes, I'm. I, I have uh, a little bit of experience in Instagram specifically. So yeah, I hope that I can give help as much as I can. <laughs> Thank you very much. And now that we finally got to know each other in one setting, we will move to the next part, plans. And I will give it over to Lily. Great. So I am hoping that we can, for example, each express some interest, some desire, and to say a little bit, what do you think you could contribute? How you could do make a contribution to help make WFWP Europe better? We, I don't know how much you've looked at what has been already published, what's going on. If you're on Facebook, if you're on LinkedIn, if you're on Twitter, on YouTube, there is a web page which hasn't really been updated on the European level. And a lot of countries have their own web page, and some are very active. So Social media is a, is a big, big, big area. And with us five people, even if each one just took one little area, it would be great. And my mind always explodes with ideas. And I think it's important to just focus. That's my, my hardest thing is to really focus on one thing. But I think it's important for us as a group, for each person, to find the individual focus, not to get overwhelmed. Oh, I haven't got time. I can't do this. I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. But to set a small goal, what you would like to do, how you would like to help, and what you want to get out of this cooperation, because this is a give and take. It's not a bleeding you out and taking everything out, sucking everything out of you, that you've got <laughs> nothing left. It's, it's to help your growth and development and to enable you to make a contribution. I I don't know, um, Kefirva was at the um, entrepreneurs meeting that I spoke at and a, a statement that I made, which I'm passionate about, all of my mentors have always known how important it is to tithe, to give of your time. And my mentors are high priced people who, who teach women how to name their price. That's still the hardest thing for me and the hardest thing for women and an issue that I think we, we as Women's Federation can really address. And I really saw this entrepreneurs conference that Paris Moon set up as a wonderful step into that direction to empower our women, our members and women in general to learn to stand confidently and to know our value and to claim it and ask for it. So I'm not asking you for something that you can't do. I'm asking you to connect to your original nature, to your original heart and find out what you really want, where you can, what can you give right now? How can you contribute? And I'd like, first, the first thing I really need is a time commitment. Uh, how often can we meet and when can we meet so that we can really schedule a reasonable plan to, to work, to make small steps, baby steps that we can work on and that we can help each other and then figure out where we can also get the help that we need to implement what we want, including resources like sponsoring, funding and anything else and, and manpower, woman power, anything else that we need. I'm a big thinker. I really believe we are living in, an, in a fantastic age of possibilities. And I believe that our only limitations are in our own minds. It's what we decide, what we want to do here together. So that's my plan is that we finish this meeting with a next date. When can we meet next? So for that, I would need from each of you some sort of an idea how often can we meet? Maybe once a week was too much. If anybody's prepared to meet once a week, I'm really happy because 
so far I've managed to keep the meetings under one hour and I think that's great. I've also been recording them and posting them on a, on a website which is not available to anybody else, but I've shared the link. And I think it's helpful to have that resource to be able to go back. I mean, that's how my mentors have been working. They've been recording the meetings. My mentors have told me to record my meetings so that I can learn from them, so I can see where I can improve. And in many cases, it's been an opportunity for me to realize, okay, I heard the first five minutes, but that six minutes, something so important was said, and I missed it completely because I was still digesting what happened at the beginning. So these are my suggestions, my plans to have the, uh, the website where we can record and get back. And it can go beyond just the, the recording of the webinar to notes and feedback. So this is something that I, I was even tempted when somebody gave me some feedback, I was going to immediately post it into the webinar, but I've been very busy myself, like all of you. But that's, that's my idea. So I'd like from each of you some concept of what perhaps you would like to do, what you think you can already do or what you want to learn. And my, my vision, right now we have Facebook, Women's Federation Europe, and you are all now, I believe, admins on that or at least editors. So I think you've all been able to live stream on Facebook. So that's, that's really, really great that for Women's Federation, we all have that ca capacity now of five key leading figures in, in the Europe Middle East region who can now run a webinar. So the one question would be, are you available if somebody's running a webinar? I mean, what I, what I expect is that from Women's Federation Europe and Middle East, when they have an event, they might come to us as the social media team and say, can you help? So you might think about, yes, I can, no, I can't, or only for a hundred euros or, you know, three hours, whatever. I think we need to think out some terms and conditions. And these are the things I'd like to, to take further. So Facebook is one, so live streaming is one of the things we can already do. So that's already first point, what we can do, all of us. Kyung in, I don't know, have you got that experience? Can you do live streaming on Facebook? Are you, you know how that No, I, I didn't do it, but if you made us editors, then I don't think it must be very uh, hard. So okay. if you maybe once can show me beforehand or as soon as possible, then the next event I can try. <laughs> so yeah. I have also done a lot of um, webinars, training webinars, which um, I'm also planning to put in one place where you can look for for what you particularly need. And I don't know whether I've done that particular one or not, but mm -hmm. um, definitely. Okay, so Kyung, everybody else is, is fine already, right? Can knows how to do a live stream on Facebook. Kefilbe, you you too? No. No, okay, so Kefilbe and Kyung, um, all right, so good. So it's the young ones, Nancy and Carolina, who know how to do the live streaming. <laughs> and Kefilbe, I actually, yeah? Yes. I actually uh, might need to refresh my memory okay. about that, okay. but okay. I don't think that it's going to be a problem. Okay. I think I know it. I know it. All right, good. Okay, then I can take that as a as a, a lesson that we can we can do. Um, the other thing, tweeting, Q has uh, Q has already um, mentioned he would like to tweet. And I think we need to look at whether we tweet as individual or whether we set up a women's federation. Um, that can be a discussion point because personally, I tweet in my own name and share stuff from women's federation. And if anybody needs a little bit more, if we need a discussion on, on Twitter, then we can do that. And um, one of you mentioned, was Nancy or Caroline is an Insta um, expert? Nancy, wasn't it? I am, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would really appreciate if you could, for example, give us a, a short um, rundown one time, not necessarily now, but that we can plan a little bit of a, a guide to how to be effective in Insta. And um, then, 
open open floor now what else where are the uh, okay the web page is the other big issue that i've got right now that i want to resolve if you want to hand it over to the original people who set it up <laughs> because they've become active again and if they just take it back and just do their thing that would be really great um if not then it's still something that i'm very concerned to to give rebirth to the web page yeah, because I was just curious, like uh, Carolina, Carolina, you said like you're doing a lot of social media for this uh, group of students, but can you just, just a little bit specify like what kind of things so that we have a more like idea? Yeah, well, basically we just um, publish and all this kind of stuff in Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn and our um, web page. And we just, like we have like a department that organize all the information and everything they want to post and they just give it to us we just put it beautiful and also this kind of stuff and we just put it on different social media so i just basically work with all of them i'm in charge of a big group we are like six people and yeah we just basically use um every social network so do you do the graphic design are you using canva or what what else are you doing yeah yeah, great. great. Woo! -hoo. Wow, we are equipped. <laughs> we are equipped. <laughs> You're using what? Canva. Canva. Um, Canva. Grace was using that in New York for the newsletter for setting yes. it up. Yeah, I heard the word before, but for the rest, I never tried it. <laughs> it's it's free. You can get in there and and figure things out for yourself. But here in Vienna, the um. Family Federation gave me access to their pro account, which means I have more opportunities to, mm. to do things there, but I don't have that much experience. So I'm, but I'm, I'm excited that we, that we have that resource and we can, you know, it's a cross pollination. We learn from one another. Mm. So that's, I think I've said enough about my plans. Now it, the, the floor is open, discussions and all of those points. Okay. Well, I if, think, oh, sorry. I was going to say that ends part two. Um, part three, then it's everybody responding to what Lily, oh, yep. everything she had said. Kenyon, please go ahead. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I just thank you for clarifying that. Um, I was just wondering, like, maybe it's good to first start with, uh, like, our ju just for the coming months, for example, our time availability. Uh, like how often we meet uh, and also um, uh, what are the conditions from every individual like for example uh, if you can invest your time or if you would like to have some contribution and stuff like that because then uh, we have things clear about availability and uh, about the conditions if there are so then we know what uh, what how the situation is and also uh, what we can expect from each other kind of yeah so uh, maybe i will start um yeah because i feel like um i need to learn a lot so i cannot contribute too much uh, aside of be, trying to be consistent and actually do my homework so i don't think it's all very complicated but it's just like if you never used it, it I just like, wow, well, whatever. So I am only using Facebook, but only for my international uh, uh, relations. So I don't use it as to check how the algorithm can be effective, but that I could try already. And um, so, and for the rest, I, I, yeah, I like to stream webinars or just learn a lot from actually Twitter and uh, Insta, but also at yeah, the Canva maybe at some point, but uh, I also don't know, yeah. So I, I just want to learn a lot and to support and be consistent. And uh, yeah, because I don't have a lot of resource uh, um, knowledge. I don't feel like I could, uh, I, do have, I don't have other conditions. So for me, uh, I could make a commitment for every week, but I think I have the impression that maybe for the whole group, it's a bit too much. So, but then, then if so, I think every other week on a just a fixed a, a fixed date and time would be the best to that we know, for example, every two weeks on this time and an hour, then we do it. That would I think that would be a great 
continuity. So that's for me. And uh, I will pass it on to whoever would like to jump in next. Okay, I will, I will go next. So for me, I, I'm working full time. So um, I can volunteer some of my time and I'm trying to be realistic about how much time I can offer. Um, in terms of meetings, I'm flexible and, um, but I have to know in advance and I do go through my busy periods as well. So you may find that for these weeks, I'm extremely busy and cannot do much. Um, I think Kyungins every two weeks is good. And if it happens that for some reason, we're not able to meet, we must make it compulsory to check in. I mean, not compulsory, but we could all agree on that. Okay, if we are not able to meet, then we all give some sort of report or check in. Um, with the with the group and for me i had um volunteered to say i can do tweeting of live events and um, i don't know the algorithm i just know it's a hashtag thing uh, my suggestion is that uh, we have a gmail account and we center all our Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram onto that one Gmail account. And the reason is that we are not gonna be the eternal social media group. We had that one instant where the lady running our Gmail account passed on unexpectedly and we're not able to recover it anymore. So, we need to do it in a way as you know with continuity in mind so if we can open a gmail account and have at least two other people uh, verifying it does not necessarily have to be from our team maybe from um, the Europe executive team and someone from our side that way if maybe Nancy is going to create the Instagram page for us she can have it linked into the Gmail account and where authentication is needed, you know, someone can just give it to her, something like that. And I'm also interested in the website, just to know how it works, the updates, reports or whatever. Thank you. And next. It's anyone between Carolina or Nancy. I just also want to add, I also have a full-time, very busy job. So my time is also limited. So that's why I try to make my homework as much as I can. <laughs> um, I can go next if Carolina doesn't want to say anything. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So as for me, uh, I have studied in the, I have studied social media uh, while I was in, in university and I am actually uh, up to date in social media, especially Instagram, because I have a small business that I'm trying to make it a big one. <laughs> so, uh, so yes, I'm always up to date uh, about the Instagram because Instagram is not the pictures application anymore. It's actually more like the marketing and the selling application and it's it's reachable for everyone. Um, everyone has an Instagram account, uh, at least the majority. So um, Instagram is a very good and strong tool to, to reach out to people and tell them what do you do and how you are doing it and whatsoever. Um, so I, I always follow the algorithm. I search about the strategies and everything. Um, so as for the meetings, um, I, have, I, I will be so clear because um, uh, as uh, Q said, we need to be um, straightforward <laughs> about that. Um, I actually don't have a job, so I'm uh, dedicated fully to my small business. So as for the time, I am flexible as, soon, uh, as, of, as 
only if I know it uh, in advance. So like this meeting, I can schedule and reschedule my 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 time. Um, I also can uh, create an Instagram page. I can follow it up. I I am I can uh, be dedicated to the Instagram page if we need it. Uh, yes, and that's it. But uh, as for the terms and conditions, I have all already mentioned on the group. I don't want to be, um, I don't know, weird. <laughs> but because I don't have a job, I'm actually giving all my time, which is the only thing I have. Um, so I think that um, if I have an income, I can dedicate my time fully to this specific thing. And I will re-prioritize -prior so uh, this will be my priority. Um, I don't know what you guys think. I don't know if I'm clear, <laughs> but yes, this is what I have to say. Yeah, the question is perhaps like also what are the possibilities uh, from the Women's Federation? Because like I mentioned, like there are basically volunteers, most of them, but mm -hmm. um, to in any case, and please correct me if I'm wrong, Lily or Kefilwe, but in any case, like uh, it's good to have more. Like I think uh, it's it's uh, for the moment it's quite impossible to to um, deliver a full salary. But for example, uh, if we know, uh, for example, what kind of contribution you would ask or want for. Um, a specific amount of time and what you would be doing, then we could try to uh, see um, how, if, if it could be arranged. Yes. Um, I'm sorry, but the electricity went off. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, so let me be clear. <laughs> I live in Lebanon, ladies, so yeah. it's really hard for me to get the electricity, to get the internet, to get the, you know, so, uh, and it's, also super expensive for me so i would really would have loved to i've been actually with working with the wfwp since the beginning of this year and i have uh, done a lot of of things and a lot of uh, things that i didn't ask for anything but <laughs> now i'm like it's hard <laughs> mm. so that's why uh, i would have loved to be fully volunteer but as you said, uh, there's this suggestion. So I can um, study how much, uh, how, how consistent should we be on a new Instagram page? Um, this also is based on the events that, uh, that's, that's, that's done uh, based on uh, the content that the WFWP wants to share. So maybe the WFWP wants to share um, one post per week, which is not enough by the way <laughs> but um if i know how much content should i be posting and and planning i can know um for instance let's say three posts per week and uh and i have to work on the stories also because they need these are the tools that give the reach, the reach. um so i can work it this way I, I will study it this way and i will tell you for instance I have to do like this number of posts, this number of stories, and I am. I think that I I want this uh, specific amount. It's not going to be a, a large amount or a large, uh, as I said, salary or something. But uh, yes, I can think about this like this way. I don't know. Uh, I would suggest that you make a proposal. Uh, I've heard that Mike Balcom is prepared to support us, Women's Federation Europe. And I've been asked to prepare some sort of a proposal for the web page, which I haven't got a clue how to go <laughs> ahead with that because uh, there's a lot of questions I've got about the web page. And I've been told by my mentor to not enter into a um, employment situation, but remain a consultant. So that therefore you can write your invoices and provide your service and not say, okay, this is, um, $10 an hour or $50 an hour, because if the members who have no idea about the work that's involved and the expertise that we get with your qualification, with your experience, then 
they're going to question, oh, she's doing five, five posts a week that only takes an hour and we're paying her 200 or 500 or 1,000 or 4,000, whatever, you know. Make sure, I, I, I really feel we are in a position now. We can be very clear. We need to know our value. And I would recommend you, I would go for the minimum of the three posts a week, create a proposal and put something in it like your normal professional price would be, but you would be prepared, you know, make it really high at the value that you really know you're worth. And then say, and for the Women's Federation, I would be prepared to do it for this much. Do something like that. Yes, because yes, I think the other thing we need to look at is fundraising. We're going to have to go into using, once we get a public image, then we mm -hmm. can launch the fundraising and we need to publish our PayPal and accounts everywhere so that people start joining and wanting to join and wanting to be a part of this organization. And wanting to pay. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah, that's because that's basically like we have some international support, but it's very limited. So like Lily said, with a proposal, we can propose because this is kind of a new sound. But also like because we are uh, like the Women's Federation is based uh, like, of course, it's worldwide. So it's big, but it's based on sponsorship and membership and sponsorship. So that's how they collect the money. So that's why it makes a lot of sense what Lily is saying that... Uh, <laughs> If we can also with a social media step by step, uh, if you make a proposal and it's granted and then we are working, but then if we do that, then if and we can be effective, then we actually also create money, not specifically for ourselves, but it helps also for this kind of, uh, yeah. It shows them uh, that we have effective fundraising. We say we have Nancy doing our work and she's worth 5,000 a month and we're only paying her 1,000. So we are saving four thousand euros because we have nancy doing our social media there you know whatever so we need to start thinking more professionally i i just want to point out one thing if i'm speaking like if i want to do the 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 instagram for instance page from zero from base i'm gonna create an, an identity so now i'm uh, i have launched a new business page i will share it with you guys it's not yet uh, I, I started it like two days ago, but I created this page because I have created an identity. I have a, my sister, she's a graphic designer. So we work together on creating an identity so that if we see a certain pattern or color or whatever, we know that this is linked to this and it's based on a theme and everything. So yes, this is how I'm thinking about it. So that, that's it, just- Very good, this very is good. The point. I just have one question for Nancy. This Instagram page, could it be linked to our Facebook account? Sure, sure. Um, it should be actually because we we will be with, we will be working on the meta business suit. Mm -hmm. If you know about it. So if we work about the meta business suit, actually, mm -hmm. I can also save uh, save time and posting for the person who is um in charge of the facebook account because i will be uh, putting a schedule that you can see all uh, mm -hmm. if you are admin of the page you will go to the meta business suit and you will see weekly how many posts will be posted automatically mm -hmm. and uh, at which time and what's the caption and everything so um yes yeah, so it will be work for two and one <laughs> in the meta business suits for facebook and instagram right Okay, thank you. Um, any more questions for Nancy? All right. Anna, yes. Uh, in, uh, do you uh, do you do you need a lot of time to make your proposal specific, or like is it like in a few days or two weeks or? I think that maybe if we decide when is the next meeting, I'll be working accordingly. Because uh, I, now is is the Christmas and the holiday season, and mm. I'm having a lot of orders coming through. And I make candles and I draw on mugs, and they need a lot of time. <laughs> but um, I will I will reschedule everything based on our next meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and please also share in the group your like you said your page, so yes, we can also yeah. see your creations on your page, right? 
yeah yeah sure yeah i'm curious okay thanks thank you thank you okay carolina um i saw what you do nancy because you posted on your whatsapp stories and they are so cool <laughs> i like them so <laughs> thank <cool>. you <laughs> and yeah okay meeting every two weeks sounds good for me uh i wanted to apologize because i know that this past weeks um i couldn't just meet because i'm working i have a full-time job and I'm also working with this students group. We represent the students in, in Spain and we work with some countries in Europe and South America and different parts of the world. So I have like a lot of work because we had like like a couple of weeks ago, 10 days ago, something like that. We have like a big summit with different countries from South America. And I had a lot of, a lot of work, but um, yeah actually i don't really know how can i help because i think that i know um how to work in every social media like instagram facebook twitter so i think i can help in all of them um i don't know if i can focus in one if you need me to focus on one i can do it it's fine for me but if you need me to help you finish things or something like that it's okay for me too and something that i cannot do is the live streams when we have events because most of them are at 4 p.m something like that and i don't arrive at my house until 6 or 7 p.m. So it will be really difficult for me doing what I'm working. But if we have an event at 8 p.m., for example, I will be able, there's no problem at all. But as some of you said, I'm a really organized person. So I just need to uh, know when we are going to have our meetings, when we have this event, or when do we have to post this thing on Twitter or Facebook or whatever. But I just need to just know everything because right now I feel like I'm a little bit lost. I don't really know every event that the Women Federation is organizing. Um, I know the Marsha just sent me some information and something like that, but I'm, I don't really know what's going on all the time. So it will be really helpful for me if I know like the calendar or the events that are programs or something like that, it would be really helpful for me. So I just can just organize myself and say, okay, um, we have this in a couple of weeks. So I have to focus this and I can just reschedule everything that I have to do. But otherwise, if you just tell me tomorrow we have an event, I just know if I will be able to. So yeah, that's, that's everything. I love helping, I like social media and I just want to help in everything that I just can. Okay. And oh, are you, are you finished? Yeah. Okay. I just remembered one thing, and this is for Nancy. I wanted to say um, you don't necessarily have to base your uh, proposal on when our next meeting is. We've actually been asked um, a long time ago, over a month already, to say that we've actually been uh, offered financial support. Please let us know how we can help. So we don't want to wait an, up until a time where maybe the budget is finished. And um, um, I don't know how many of you also were also speaking with Mitty, but I told her that we're going to meet soon. And then shortly after the meeting, then we will give them a report. So if on your side, Nancy, you can keep that in mind. And I mean, I really appreciate the fact that you're making it to our meetings with all the data and electricity and all of that. So the sooner we can wrap it up, um, the better. So I don't know how long it can take you to do that. And then we will go to them and say, here's what we, we need as a social media team. And yeah, they will respond. Yeah, can you give me just um, uh, tell me like, for instance, minimum and maximum days What would you prefer, like in two days, three days, in one week? So the end of this week would be good because Christmas will be sort of like 
shut down and things will be finishing off. So by Friday this week would be great that we could, I mean, Monday already next week is um, very close to Christmas, but um, if you could have something um, by Friday would be great. By Friday. Yeah. Um, one second. Uh, it will be 16. Okay. Okay. Yep. I will. Same. Yep. Yep. Okay, does anybody, let me see what, we had three things on our agenda. This is the last, um, the last thing that we're going to do. Can, is, does anyone want to say something? Okay, I was going to say, oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't mind starting. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I was going to say I don't mind starting with the email address already. Okay, can you? Okay, yeah, I I just have a it's a social media question, but I was just wondering because uh, um, Carolina mentioned about uh, that she saw Nancy's stories on WhatsApp, right? But I also have Nancy on WhatsApp. And I never see a story of Nancy. I actually only see, uh, because the story is, is that is the, it's the same as the st status update, right? Or not? Yeah. Yep, it's the status. Yes. And somehow, I don't know how I have these people, but I always have the same like six or seven people that I see they're only their stories. It's, it's, it looks super random to me and I never clicked a button or something. So I have no idea how I can see others or why that is. Yes, you have to, you have to for instance, if you want to see my stories, I have to save your number and you have to save mine. So I already saved your number. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you saved mine in your context. If you saved I... it, it will, it will show you on the status. And um, also you go to the, to the status, I don't know if you can see the status privacy, and mm -hmm. when you share your status, you can choose my contacts, which is everyone will see it. You can specify and you can only share with. So it's, it's always uh, up to you for who can see your status and, for, and uh, the same for the other person. So maybe for instance, I, I share it not with my contacts, I share it uh, only with. So maybe I forgot to put your name, but I don't think so. Uh, or maybe you didn't save my number. <laughs> No, I did. I, I actually did uh, put your number in. Only uh, I never put anything on my status. I never do that. So, uh, but, but also the people like I have everyone. I, I just don't understand why I always have the same, same people, always the same people. And now recently there was another girl that I almost never texted with is now also in my stories. Yeah. So it seems super uh, random to me. <laughs> <laughs> But so I think yes. it's a mystery. But uh, I can also ask around. It's hard from a distance. And the same I actually also have with what a uh, messenger. But yeah, I was just curious because you were mentioning it. So I thought maybe I get my mystery unsolved. But uh, oh, it's, 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 so, it's really uh, very simple. It's just that you can't do anything with the others the status if they uh, selected your name to show it to you it's uh, you can see it if not you cannot but for oh. your status yes but for your status if you want to update or download anything on it um post i'm sorry anything on it um you just choose from the privacy settings and uh, you can yeah. choose one of three options and that's it okay so that means that all the other people in my context did not select me for their story. If they are posting. <laughs> yeah, if they are posting. I mean, I have a lot of contacts in my phone. So, okay, but maybe just for the experiment, maybe you can add me to your settings and then I can see if I see yes, you. Yes. <laughs> Please add me too. Okay. And let's start I, a, a working group where we can learn from one another. Sure. Actually, I was going to say uh, also one thing uh suggesting one thing uh will we all be uh, presenting the next time we meet will we all be presenting like a guide as you said Miss Lily? 
I want to keep the meeting short. So if if everybody can do a five minute guide, that would be great. Otherwise we can start scheduling and planning. First thing we need to do is set the date for the next meeting. And we can still communicate with WhatsApp about how to go further. And I don't know if I've got everybody's email address. I think I was looking, I don't think I've got all the email addresses. Um, it would be good to have those as well. I can resend mine. Yeah. And um, so do we meet again? Two weeks is the day after Christmas from today. I and three weeks is um, already the um, day yeah. after New Year. One, two, three yeah. weeks is the second, Monday, the 2nd of January. Is that an option for everybody in three weeks time? Or is On that- On a Monday. Yeah. That's the, the second of January, right, right after the new year. It's actually, yeah, okay. It's a public holiday at the UN because they get, they take the Mondays when they don't get the Sundays. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a nice rule. That's a nice rule. Yeah, as far as I know, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I just want to say, as far as I know, I would be available on the 2nd of January. It's a bit far, but the Christmas is there. So then we Christmas can just in between, yeah. do our... Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and that's a Monday, right? That the second of January is a Monday. So that that yeah. is quick. Is Monday the best day for everybody? Um, I just it's need to say something. I don't want to ruin it, but um, after uh, New Year's Eve, I will be setting my wedding day. So maybe it will be in January. Maybe it will be in February. So I'm I'm uncertain yet about that. Okay. But if everyone uh, is going to attend on the 2nd of January, I can just put it in my schedule, but I don't know if something happens or anything. <laughs> Disclaimer. Okay. Yeah. Great. Oh, congratulations, oh, congratulations by the way. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Um, Lily, yeah. I just wanted to um, say something. I think it's good that everyone gets five minutes to say something. But if, for example, the day Zoom session is going to be you showing us how the email works, um, it might be good to focus on that specific thing as the main thing. Mm -hmm. If we're meeting every two weeks, then we would all get an opportunity to make a presentation or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So just the email presentation next time, you mean? So, oh, you yeah. meant mm -hmm. it depends oh. if the email presentation can take five minutes, then I suppose it's not an issue at all. But if, for example, whatever they're going to present that day is going to take a bit uh, long, I think it will be good for us to really get into everything so that we can absorb all the information and ask as many questions as possible. So instead of trying to cram something into just a short space. So can I ask who has experience with Gmail accounts for more than one person for a group? Has anybody done an email, a Gmail account? Google yeah, Drive? Just the personal one. I've, I've got like so many, maybe um, six or something <laughs> that are linked to me. Um, but with, with the, I, I will research if there's a sp special Gmail for organization, but with uh, Google Drive and all of that, I, I have experience with that. I mean, it's, it's not much, it's like having um, Dropbox, but I'll also, I'll look into it. Ladies, I have to go. Sorry about that. But so our date. So in in gen, like um, it will be Monday the second at seven p.m. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. Is it doable? So in three weeks exactly, same time, same channel, same Zoom link. Okay. And, Maybe um, we can put the Zoom link in the description box of the group. So that yeah, I'm not the uh, admin on the description. So unless you want to add me to the admin on the group, I can't add it there. Oh, uh, I'm not the admin either. I think Carolina, you are? 
thoughts, Carolina? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me. I'm gonna do it now. Wait a second. Okay, you done. Okay. Good. So we meet in three weeks and we can keep connection on the um, WhatsApp. And uh, Kathuva, you can let me know how you go with the Gmail because I've got three or four Gmail accounts as well. And one of the reasons I was also doing it for my different organizations was expecting that when I do a Women's Federation Gmail that I'll get another 15 gigabytes of storage space, but that's still not enough for our European organization. And I've also got Dropbox Pro. So I'm still working on deciding how to go further with that. So if anybody's got any other input and ideas, that's something that we can still communicate about. Okay. It's been one hour. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's keep Thank in touch you. and keep each other informed what we're doing. And also on the personal level, just to bump up our social media consciousness. So I'm really happy that we could all meet together today. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you thank all. You. And thank you, Anais, for switching with your mom, or sorry, Carolina. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, can you all add me to your stories if you post, then I can see. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.